Before I begin again, uh, I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna mispronounce like a ton of stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, starting off with D tier, we have Tronito. Uh, compared to all the other abilities, I can't really think of anything it would beat. It may be able to stand up to Vulcan, but if you're in a Runkar, you're gonna want any other ability. C tier is all the more common stuff besides the Sombra Resurrection. Vulcan is just a better variant of Tronito, so it isn't really worth having. Tronito is kind of similar, with the upside of a stun with the first move. This allows for more combo extenders. Zangetsu is pretty good if you want to play more range and don't want to be a Quincy, since the majority of its moveset is energy slashes. It's still the worst Zanpak Toe, however, with Wabasuki being a close second with a stun and two overall better moves. In the B tier, we have Soto no Shiryuki, Ligero, Shinso, Flugel, and Sakanade. Shiryuku is pretty decent with two of its moves being able to freeze you. Combined with the Frolic move, it can do a lot of damage. Ligero is basically just the Pika fruit from One Piece. If you can't get Primero, go for this. Shinzo is like Zangetsu if it was good. Your range is slightly smaller, but your attacks are better, so you'll be able to perform more combos. Flugo isn't bad overall, but it doesn't really fit the Quincy playstyle. I'd wait for some more Quincy abilities to be released before sticking to it. Sakanade is also pretty good, but not good enough for A tier in my opinion. The Vision Distortion ability is really good for confusing people, and is super annoying for anyone fighting against it. A tier is a lot shorter, with just Senbon Zakura and Benahime. Senbon Zakura's moves all do a ton of damage. It may not have any stun moves like the other abilities, but the speed and damage definitely makes up for that. Benahime also does a lot of damage, but with the added bonus of a defense move. I believe the red net move also stuns, and with the damage that does on its own, it's not something I would mess with. Finally, we have S tier. In my personal opinion, these are all the best abilities in the game. Ryujin Jaka has it all. Damage, defense, and even some range. It may be a little slower, but if you get caught in an attack, you're basically done for. Primero is a little bit better in my opinion, surely for its ranged capabilities. Since it's more ranged than the other abilities in the game, you can attack with less worry of being hit by an opposing attack. It can still be used at uh, close range though, allowing for a ton of free damage. And last but not least, we have Katen Kyokotsu. There's so much combo potential with this one Shikai, it's insane. The amount of people I've seen get massacred by this is scary. Do not pick a fight with someone with this unless you're good with an A tier ability or have an S tier one. Anyways, that's my abilities tier list. If you disagree with anything, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.